Well, getting ready for another hot and humid day for us here on our Mother's Day. Going to be seeing temperatures once again in the mid-90s. Pretty much we're going to be seeing that all the way through next week as well. So warm temperatures, yeah, they're going to be here to stay for the next couple of days. So we want to make sure that everyone is staying hydrated. Make sure you limit your outdoor activities if you can. If you do have to be outside, make sure you're taking some breaks in the shade or indoors in the air conditioning. Now, also make sure you're checking on the elderly as well as never leaving your kids or pets unattended while outside. Now, we're going to be seeing those breeze is picking up once again to 20 mile per hour winds from the south so it's going to be bringing in that humid and warm air over the next couple of hours heading into the rest of our Sunday so a little bit on the breezier side but still bringing in a lot of that moist air. Taking a look into Monday still going to be on the breezier side 15 to 20 mile per hour winds again from the south so going to continue seeing that warm those warm temperatures over the next few days but taking a look at your Sunday over the next couple of hours going to be climbing up to the low 80s around 10 a.m. going to see partly cloudy conditions as we start our morning off but as we head further into the rest of our afternoon we're going to see a lot more of that sunshine upper 80s around noon around four o'clock that's where we're going to see our highs for today in the mid to upper 90s now taking a look at our future track here we're going to start off with some cloudy skies once again lots of moisture in our air as well heading into the rest of our sunday though going to see plenty of sunshine throughout the afternoon and evening hours we might see a shower or two later on late this morning but for the most excuse me this tonight but for the most part going to be staying dry pretty much all throughout the rest of our day here and we're going to stay dry pretty much all throughout the rest of our week as well we're going to start off our morning on the cloudier side could be seeing some of that condensation as well as that fog coming through so for the most part going to be staying dry but we really need some of that rain even taking a look at our drought monitor here west of I-35 all of our areas are pretty much in the exceptional or that extreme rain. So we really need some of that rain, but we're really not going to be getting any anytime soon. Now, let's take a closer look at today's highs. 96 over in Waco, going to be in the mid 90s over in Bell County area. Brazos Valley also in the mid 90s, upper 90s in some areas like over in Caldwell, but we could also see some areas in the 100 degree temperatures like over near San Saba. So please make sure you're hydrating out there if you are going to be outside today. Taking a look at tonight's lows as well as tomorrow morning, going to be in the mid 70s and heading to the rest of our week here, really going to be staying in the low 90s pretty much all week week long with dry conditions all throughout the rest of the week.